I'm Tracy Bankster with today's Record News Watch. A tradition continued today in the city of Port Jervis uh, when a parade stepped off this morning on East Main Street. It was the beginning of uh, one of the Veterans Day observances uh, being held throughout our region to honor those who've uh, served our, or continue to serve our country. The November 11th federal holiday was originally called Armistice Day to mark the end of World War I. Those taking part in events today say we shouldn't only honor our older veterans, we uh, need to remember the most recent sacrifices that have been made by those who've uh, been serving uh, the nation in Iraq, Afghanistan, and during the Vietnam era. Others that I think of as my mom who and my dad who were both World War II vets. My mom was a uh, naval nurse stationed at Pearl Harbor. Uh, my dad was in the Army Air Forces and uh, I think of them at this time of the year every year. It's proud to be here as a veteran and be with all these other veterans and to represent the ones that aren't here that didn't make it back. It's just a pleasure to be here today. Many younger veterans say uh, most Americans not connected to the military don't understand the problems they currently face including troubles of finding a job in this tough economy. By the end of the year, 39,000 troops now in Iraq will be returning home. Elsewhere, a town of Wallkill man is scheduled for arraignment Monday following his indictment on murder and manslaughter charges for the killing of a Middletown man back in 2008. 19-year-old Atik Weston faces second-degree murder and first-degree manslaughter charges for the fatal slashing of Robert Kwiatkowski, who was uh, walking home from work when he was attacked near the Wickham and Wisner Avenue intersection in Middletown. Weston was uh, 15 years old at the time of the incident. He will be prosecuted as an adult, uh, but the maximum sentence he would face is 15 years to life in prison. Letters went home to parents of Orange Ulster BOCE students yesterday explaining administration's response to a bomb threat that was called in Wednesday morning to the Special Education Center in Goshen. Arriving students uh, were kept on school buses, then returned to their home school districts. The adjacent SeaTac building was put under lockdown as Orange County Sheriff's deputies and their canine officers swept both buildings. Some parents have voiced complaints about the notification process, but BOCE Superintendent Terrence Olivo says appropriate steps were taken, although he says there will be a review to determine if adjustments need to be made. Police say the bomb threat caller may have been a student. While officials in Port Jervis consider the future of the property where the now empty Port Plaza strip mall now stands, uh, former tenant Rite Aid has uh, been working to regain customers at its new location on Front Street. Rite Aid uh, was one of the businesses left high and dry back in June when heavy rains made the building's structural problems worse. That, plus persistent code violations, prompted the closure of the stores there. Rite Aid uh, will continue to do business out of the downtown building until a final decision is made on a permanent location. As of Sunday, you will no longer be able to light up while waiting to board your Metro North commuter train. An expanded smoking ban covering outdoor rail station platforms as well as ticketing and boarding areas goes into effect on Sunday. MTA police will first issue warnings during a grace period and after that, Commuters uh, who ignore the new regulations will face a $50 fine. MTA officials say the outdoor smoking ban will provide a cleaner and healthier environment for fellow commuters and will lessen the potential for track fires. And calling it a, quote, idiot move, the drug offender who uh, ran off while being escorted to the Sullivan County Jail back on Wednesday has been rearrested. 20-year-old Peter Amendola of Narrowsburg took off while being walked to the jail by a drug counselor where he uh, was to be held while awaiting lodging at a drug treatment facility. After his rearrest and subsequent court appearance, Amendola was uh, taken to the jail, this time in handcuffs. Uh, when he's returned to court next Tuesday, Judge Frank Labuda will decide whether to send him for drug treatment or send him back to jail. It'll be a good weekend to deal with all those leaves or other yard work. Saturday will be sunny, although temperatures won't get uh, much higher than 55 degrees. More sunshine in the forecast for Sunday, and it'll be a bit more seasonable with the highs up around 60 degrees.
Get caught up on all that's happening anywhere by picking up weekend editions of the Times Herald Record. And when news breaks, you will find it here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.